Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create musical phrases. You could call them as melodies, riffs, bass lines and so on and so forth. Basically, melodic phrases using a simple concept in music called as accents. And using accents or you can even call it as grouping of notes within a time signature, within a time feel that I'm, I'm going to come to during the lesson. The grouping is what's going to create that interest, that sentence-like approach when we write sentences or write poems or anything grammatical in that sense. So let's talk about some very basic accents first over a 4-4 four, four time signature and how you can make a 4x4 four four time signature a lot more interesting. I have a lot of finger drills for you. So do get a piano out. Uh, you can also get a book out. You can write it along with me. The notes will be available on our Patreon page, my handwritten notes as well as staff notation for this particular lesson. So do consider getting yourself a copy. And after we've got acquainted with accents over a few finger drills, we are then going to look into a composition which I've done over a rather weird time signature, 31 by 8. But it didn't sound too weird, at least for me. didn't sound too weird because I'm thinking of it more like a sentence construction using small groups and using the right punctuation if you look at it in grammar, right? And how we'll arrive at that 31 by 8 piece of music would be in increments. So do stay tuned till the very end. We are going to end up enabling you to compose music not just on a 4-4 with accents and phrasing but pretty much on any time signature with any grouping of your choice. And there are a lot of tricks which I'm going to share with you, which have helped me to jam with musicians, record in studios, and be a lot more comfortable with time and also creative with melodies. Because the best way to break out of a sort of writer's block on the piano would be to break the symmetry or break the common patterns that we might face. So to break the patterns, this topic would be pretty useful. Also, before we get started, it'll be great if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get cracking. So if we take a 4x4 four four time signature, 1, 2, 3, 4, and start pushing notes into it. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. What we find is there are very few compartments or very few places for that particular music to to exist on. It can exist in beat 1, beat 2, beat 3 or beat 4. So a common thing that we do, and I'm sure you would have already done it sometimes even without knowing it, is to divide that particular time system 4 by 4 into subdivisions. So if you take, let's say, quavers. Quavers are eighth notes where we divide by 2. You will have two slots to fill in every beat of the 4 by 4. So it will now end up being 1, two, three, four. And we can kind of count it in a couple of ways. You can say one and two and three and four and, which we do a lot. That and is representing of the sub beat. And then we can even consider some Indian ways of counting. For example, takka, 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 takka. Takka creates this kind of two syllable word, which makes the counting of this pretty easy. So, I'm going to now give you a small tune. Let's say this one. So I'm on the key of D major. Let's first revise D major. As you probably know on our channel, we don't do a lot of C major because I don't like it too much. So D major has two sharps, namely F sharp and C sharp. And if you divide 4 by 4 by 2, and play quavers, you can end up with things like a grouping of four with these four notes. D, E, F sharp. A. Now this sounds pretty good. But I don't think it'll sound good unless you start adding some chords to it or some harmonic perspective. Now it sounds good. But does it sound catchy? Does it sound rememberable? I guess not so much. It's more like an ambience for 
may be a vocal line or it's part of a background score i want to make this stand out so the accent or the phrasing or the grouping of these notes are 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so i would consider that as even how do we break that well you could reduce it you can say okay i want twos so maybe but now again it's even but it's a it's a less set the group has become smaller right 1212121212121212121 you can get some good results but still it happens to be very symmetric very evenly grouped now to break that you can just use some simple maths you have the number 8 8 is now the number of subdivisions or number of sub beats you're going to have in this bar of 4 by 4 so what can i do with 8 i've done 4 4 plus 4 equals 8 which is fairly normal and repetitive and monotonous 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is also pretty repetitive and monotonous so what can i do instead maybe i can try 3 plus what equals 8 well get a calculator out if you want the answer is 3 plus 5 equals 8 now how can i phrase this on the piano or any musical instrument really here's a simple option you can take the first three notes of the d major scale sa re ga okay and go this would be your three set and then your five set would be sa re ga ma pa 1 2 3 4 5 so it's going to feel 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 let's see how that sounds 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 this automatically starts sounding a bit irregular it may sound a bit wrong at first but as you play it a bit faster your mind rewires itself go with a a pulse right tan tan na na tan 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 re 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 tum pa pa re 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 tum pa 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 re 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 even though the grouping of the melody is irregular or uneven 3 plus 5 two odd numbers it still adds up to 8 so you can still give yourself a pulse and i'm going to show you that i'm going to play crotchets or quarter notes in the left hand you can do two things you can play the pulse i quite like mixing between staccato and legato there you can also change some bass notes within the d major scale as i'm going to walk you through throughout the video can also hit on the accent hit points which are again i like that whole legato staccato combo so i'm doing staccato legato so i feel you i think you can feel the accent in both ways it's just a different feeling one feeling gets you to kind of move and the other is a bit more agitated gets you a bit more you know you're not you're a bit uncertain about that particular phrasing so this one because my left hand is only on the accent hit points which are at irregular intervals 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 versus the pulse I I can guarantee you and you can also see I am not changing my right hand in any way. 1234512312345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412345123412
there are three ways to produce this accent and thus i would say an accent would be a change of some musical property with respect to all the adjacent notes around it so what are instead of saying some musical property there are basically three controllable musical properties that you can mess around with on the on an any instrument one is pitch the other is volume and the other would be the duration of the actual note so by adjusting the duration you can create a change you can create an element of importance of that note with respect to its adjacent neighbors you can also adjust the volume of a note which which will be different with respect to its neighbors uh, you can also adjust the pitch so what we have showcased here in this illustration looks like pitch isn't it because i am not changing the volume of anything you still kind of feel 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 because the pitch of the ones 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 are pretty obviously telling us that it's a group of 3 plus 5 however i can even reinforce this with some volume there we go tuck it so you can add accents on those ones and you you've created a pitch grouping you you know adding volume to the party and later on in the lesson i'm going to also talk about duration of notes which you can adjust okay so this is the first thing you need to practice d e f sharp d e f sharp g a and then try it with some accents there we go you can do the pulse in the left hand or you can do minims in the left hand so let's journey forward now we've created an accent using 3 plus 5 let's look at another way to get a 3 plus 5 going but maybe from a reverse from the top pitch to the bottom let's let's look at this drill for instance where your pinky can play a pa ma ga pa ma ga re sa pa ma ga pa ma ga re sa so 5 4 3 in terms of scale degrees 5 4 3 2 1 this is an this is also a very good finger exercise to strengthen your fingers because you can whack those accented hit points a bit more louder thus strengthening the finger so two ways to execute 3 plus 5 in this lesson 1234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231234521231
ghare sa ghare sa you don't want to go all the way down well you could but then you need to do volume because the pitch is dropping fully down so ghare sa pa ma ghare sa ghare sa pa ma ghare sa ghare sa pa ma you can be a bit creative now you can keep that group of 5 and fool around with the groups of 3 or be a bit more creative ultimately it's three notes diatonically going down in the d major scale right so we've done 3 uh, plus 5 we've done 5 plus 3 um another way to look at eight a group of eight could be in more tinier fractions what about 2 meets 3 meets 3 is that equal to 8 i think so yeah so to get the 2 i'm going to do sa pa which is d a the root and the fifth to get the 3 i'm going to go with the strategy discussed earlier which is sa re ga so now how is it going to be 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 now some of my students over the years of teaching have tended to play this play it like this i'll just show you stuff like this you know 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 now this is absolutely wrong because there's a gap between each set isn't it 1 2 there's almost like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 that four you're not saying four it's sort of like the same problem we find when we count the mission impossible theme isn't it a lot of people might go 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 that's not right. that's not right you have to go with the pulse 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 it ends up being a 5 by something 5 by 8 or 5 by 4 kind of song now coming back to d major so to get 2 plus 3 plus 3 correctly don't do there's no timing there rather 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 You don't even need volume now it's it's very obvious There we go The music starts sounding a lot more rememberable lot more catchy I guess Right, so that's th- two plus three plus three. Let's do that again. So one two one two three one two three. Then what else? We can flip those numbers around, right? Three plus two plus three. Let's see how that goes. Now three. Two, three. Put that together. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. So over the two beats, I'm playing one five, but that's pretty much an interval skip or an interval jump. So you can do even a six, you can do a seven, you can do an octave, maybe a four. So something like. That's two three three. If you do this over three two three, there we go. The rhythm is already creative, but now the melody is starting to get a bit more creative. So it all, all automatically becomes something. people will latch on to and then last but not least let's consider the 3 plus 3 plus 2 i call them as thresio arpeggios because it has that thresio like groove so 3 3 2 see how that goes one 2 3 one 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 okay so you can even do reverse 
instead of doing sa re ga you can do ga re sa but i leave that to you you can try that out now what i'm excited to share with you is a melody that i ended up coming up with in a class actually and we we kind of it organically happened i don't know how it ended up happening to be to end up becoming a 31 by 8 it was tough to count but easy to play at least for me and students also ended up playing it and after all that we we realize oh it's a 31 by something so what i'm trying to share in this discussion is it's not very difficult to compose over odd time signatures you don't even need to call them odd except that it could end up being an odd number some people could even call 18 beats per bar as odd but then 18 is not an odd number so maybe we should change the name of an odd time signature so to arrive at a rather long odd time signature well it doesn't have to necessarily be an odd number an odd time signature is just something we are not used to very often like a 4 by 4 3 by 4 are very common now to arrive at this 31 by 8 let's do it slowly on the piano i'm going to take you first through the threes and the five segments let's slowly weave in that melody then go into a 7 by 8 then a 11 by 8 then a 15 by 8 and finally a 31 by 8 so so do stay tuned now this is the first thing i want you to try over 3 and 5 i'll play it and then teach D A G F sharp E D C sharp A D A G F sharp E D C sharp A D A G F sharp E D S A P A M A G R E S A N I P A So here's how I'm playing it. Check out the fingers. Index start is is a good start. So I can cross my Actually, I can start with my thumb. Cross the middle finger, but you, you see the problem there. Then I have to bring back the thumb, so I started. Rather, I started with the index finger. Now, the thing with this melody is, it's about how you perceive it. So it's going to be the same melody, but check this out. First, we'll make it grouped as three and five. Then we'll make it grouped as five and three. Five meets three. Let's see how that can happen. This is four plus four, right? One, two, three, four. There's no irregular grouping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But we can perhaps change the story of this by playing it as. Now you can do that alone with just volume in your right hand. It may sound a bit too forceful for the listener, so maybe we can introduce a chord change at that accent hit point. I'm doing a one, a five, a six for pop chords. Now it feels like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I can change the narrative of this to make it now a five meets three. One two three four five. One two three. One two three four five. One two. Both have different per different feelings. One two three four five. One two three four five. One two three. One two three four five. One two three. you may find 5 meets 3 different or trickier than 3 meets 5 even though you're playing the same thing in the right hand that's the beauty of it that's We've done four by four. Let's try and do a few more time signatures. Let's consider seven. This is the melody I have for you for seven. It's pretty much the same melody. I just avoided one note. I think there. 
tak de me tak it tak de me tak now the beauty of seven is you can phrase it in a couple of commonly known ways one being four meets three 3,4,5,6,7,1,2,3,4,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,4,1,2,3,4 What's the volume difference? 1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,3,1,2,
da 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 and i like this da 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 that i'm doing a g chord a chord do 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 de de do de do de de da de da de 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 do de do de de da de da de 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 do de faster de 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 do de do 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 a b g a d a b g a ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ the accents are helping us enjoy it more you know, otherwise it's just too uh, textbook or too academic just to be, make it 15 you just add some notes no we are grouping it we are choosing the grouping and also concurrently making the groupings easier for us to count so if we the composers are finding it easy to count the odds that our audience will also find it easy and enjoyable will be very very high so last variation of the melody which ends up being the finally composed melody which you heard in the intro video to make it 31 by 8 i'll just show you what's going on <clears throat> i'm ending the first a uh, phrase as the old 15 and the second time that is 1 2 3 4 5 1 so when it ends with that 5 you can't say it's 15 plus 15 15 plus 15 is 30 then you might as well just call it 15 now it ends up becoming 15 plus 16 if you take the second phrase it's 16 beats now that's kind of in a very weird way 4 by 4 because if you take it if if i play this with a pulse could even play that cuz it's all adding up to 16 beats at least the second phrase 7 plus 4 equals 11 equal plus 5 equals 16 so 11 plus 5 but to make it 31 by 8 i take that old 15 phrase which i played for you just recently that's 15 and combine it with the 16 which is adding that one more extra note creating a five beat cycle at the end let's see I'm enjoying right now a D A B G A D A B minor G A D Right guys so in a nutshell in this video we first looked at how accents work for melodic phrase building we've looked at different ways of accenting so to speak within an 8 beat cycle for various groupings we did uh, 3 plus 5 5 plus 3 then we made it 
थ्री प्लस टू प्लस थ्री टू प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री देन वी डिड थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस टू एंड देन वी लुक एट अ सिंपल मेलेडी विच एंडेड अप स्टार्टिंग इवन मोर सिंपल विच वॉज वी मेड इट फोर फोर बट देन ग्रुप इट थ्री प्लस फाइव फाइव प्लस थ्री देन वी मेड इट सेवन बाई एट विच मे बी न्यू फॉर सम ऑफ यू एंड वी एड इट दैट पॉज टू मेक इट मोर रिलैक्सिंग बट अलेवन बाई एट Okay, then we made it fifteen by eight. And finally, thirteen, thirty-one by eight. Might want to consider getting a copy of the notation. All of the patterns, even I am reading it right now as I am teaching you. It will be available on our Patreon page as a neat PDF download. You can also get yourselves a copy of the MIDI files. Uh, these days, MIDI is MIDI are quite useful. You can import them into various programs which show you the notes light up in any which way you want with colors and stuff like that. So, have fun with the lesson. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned to our channel for lots more. We release weekly tutorials and riffs. and there'll be lot more coming up on the channel lot more topics if you'd like to learn music with us in the near future in person or online you can sign up for live lessons all you have to do is head over to nathanielschool.com fill up a form and our course advisor will reach you very very shortly cheers catch you in the next one